The late, great Stevie Ray Vaughan drew on a whole range of tones and textures. Just listen to the first three tracks of his 1983 debut album, Texas Flood, and you can hear a clean and clear sound on Love Struck Baby, to a more distorted bridge pickup sound in the intro to Pride and Joy, then something between the two for the title track. For what we think of as Stevie Ray's classic tone though, it starts with one of these. A 60s style rosewood board Fender Stratocaster fitted with vintage style single coil pickups. <laughs> The first step towards Stevie Ray is a half step away from concert pitch, tuned down to E flat. It's surprising what this does to the sound of a strat, particularly on the bridge pickup. Listen to this lick, first in E, then in E flat. <laughs> Now Stevie Ray used all kinds of amps, including Marshalls, Fenders, and of course the fabled Dumble. As a start point, the clean channel of most Fender valve amps will do a good job. This is a Fender Blues Deluxe. You need to turn it up to get the amp and speakers really working, and make sure there's plenty of mid-range in the sound. It's a very revealing tone, as you can hear. Now add some reverb, and we're getting there. For more sustain and mid-range punch, Stevie Ray would often use an Ibanez Tube Screamer. He would set the gain low and the level high to really push the front end of the amps. Listen to the difference. Here's the neck pickup, just through the amp. And now the bridge pickup with the Tube Screamer. Clearly, it's not all about gear though. Stevie used big strings and picked hard, which was a key part in his tone. He'd vary where he picked and use the flesh of his fingers to really eke out every ounce of what the Strat has to offer. When you put it all together, you've taken a step or two closer to the great man's tone.